Welcome back to the lab folks. So today I've got a short video for you where I'm just going to catch up on a couple of little projects that I have to do anyway. I normally do these in the background but I'm waiting for some other stuff to come in before I do a more serious video. So I'm going to get to these. Now one of those is taking these cables. I think I mentioned it in a recent uh, mailbag video where I got these. That I got these to shorten them. You know it's fine having one meter cables but when you have a lot of cables on the desk like here uh, it, it can get kind of a mess. So I want to make, create myself a series of shorter cables. So I'm going to take some of my existing cables and these new ones here, I'm going to shorten them up. These ones here I'm going to shorten down so that they're 50-50s. They're going to be half a meter long. And then another set of cables I'm going to shorten them down so that I have three quarters of a meter and a quarter of a meter. That way I have the length that I need to do what I need to do without messing up my desk and making things confusing. And I use these connectors here on the ends, the banana plugs. Uh, they're very, very, very tight fit. And that's why I have the IPA here to try and help them slip on a little bit. And I like these a lot because they have a set screw in them. They're not soldered. And these come in both the uh, gold plated kind for very little bit more money than the plain nickel plated ones. So I generally use these ones. I, it's probably very, very thin gold plating. It's probably not going to last that long. And the nice thing about these is, is that once you connect them all up and everything, you have this hole here. And that allows you to have a, a stackable, basically a stackable plug. Now, it's not like these ones where it stacks vertically, but it comes out and goes horizontally. So they're, they're handy. So that's why I use them. And so all I have to do now is uh, start, let's start off by getting one that's not too badly entangled in the rest of them. One of the dangers of long cables is they get entangled. These cables are really, really nice. I'll, I'll leave a link to them down below and these connectors. But they're really nice. They're so, they're so flexible. I don't think they're real silicone because I do have silicone wire around here. And it doesn't feel exactly like this. But they're so very, very soft vinyl. So basically all you have to do, get them nose to nose here. And then just fold it and cut it. Just like that. And this is the one we're going to do up. We're going to put the blue on it here. And I de this just came in the mail here, which prompted me to get this done because I've been waiting for these to arrive. So I'll do just this. Okay, so here we have another set of them. I'll need the blue ones on both sides. Now this is basically the length here that you have to strip the cable these won't go in all the way. So you have to strip it down. So it goes down right into about that level there. And these are number 16 cable. So they can handle quite a bit of current. So we put them in the number 16 one here. These are all pure copper without any plating on them. So they, they do connect up fairly well. So now let's get this down along the wire here. It's a nice tight fit. Place this in here. Well, let's get the set screw started first. That would be a good idea, right? It's going to be a challenge sometimes, especially for old folks like me. Insert the cable like that and tighten down. Now, this is where I put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on things to kind of give some lubrication that'll disappear after a few minutes. All right, there we go. Make sure, of course, that you get the, the hole lined up so that you can take advantage of that stacking feature. And now we have a, a perfect half meter long banana plug to alligator clip. And on the other side, we're going to make into a half meter long banana plug to banana plug. And this one's going on a bit easier, and that's perfect. That's it. So that'll dry off in a minute or two. That one's already dry. You see it drying off down here. And now I have a half meter long banana plug to banana plug. Okay, so I'm just going to do the rest of these off camera. 
because you don't need to see me do this five times. So let me move these out of the way temporarily. And I'll show you my other little mini project. Okay, my next little project is, uh, you've probably seen in some of my videos, if you've been following along with me at all, that I do these, uh, these coarse and fine controls. And I do them now uh, that I've gone ahead and I've made up a little PC board so that I can have a little module that can plug in at 30 millimeters apart, enough for a reasonable size knob. And, uh, you know, a little connector on the back here, probably put a right angle three prong connector into it. And uh, that way I can, I can just pop them into a project and then I've just got a little, a little plug-in cable to attach them up rather than having to wire them in by hand, which is what I've been doing in the past. So I'm all about making things easier and using that concept, you may have heard me repeat, a concept of modular design. So the double gang goes in there and the single gang goes in here. It's also got the crooked legs on it. Now what I generally tend to use is either, you know, like a 10K and a 1K over here. But in this case, I'm putting in a 20K and 1K. And it'll give me uh, the equivalent of a 20 turn pot. So this is, this is 1 20th of the, the value of this. So this gives me, you know, 1K side to side, this is 20K over here. So anywhere I stop here, I have, you know, 500 ohms on either side of that point that I can get. But uh, let me show you the schematic of this before I go ahead and solder it. It's a pretty simple schematic. We have the 20K pot is sandwiched in between the two gangs of the dual gang 1K pot. So that when uh, these are operated, this whole section moves up and down by, you know, a K. And this gives you your, your major adjustment. Now, while this is easy enough to wire up, I mean, it, like I say, I'm just making it easier on myself. If anybody's interested, let me know in the, in the comments below. And I, I'll put this design up on my PCBWay share site. You know, let me know. I'll do that. And then I'll add the link later on. I, I can't do it today. I just don't quite have the time to get that done. Uh, but that's it. It's, it's very simple and very effective. Uh, it makes a, a, a nice alternative to having like a 10 turn pot in there. But anyway, um, all that aside, let me go over to the bench and uh, solder this up and I'll come right back and we'll test it out. Okay, here we have it. Nice little module and oh, pin there's a little bit bent. Okay, so the way I've got it set up here, the, the front faces of them line up. They're exactly 30 millimeters apart. So if you want to throw them into design and get a panel made up or drill holes for them, you know exactly what to do. I've also cut the little locating pins off the, the sides of the pot here because they're fixed in place. I don't need those. And these are not going to turn with respect to each other. Okay, so I've got a meter here set up in ohms and we're going to plug this in here like this. And we just have to see what this says about them. So we must have everything turned all the way. Yes, we do. We have everything turned up and uh, let's turn everything down. Should go down to zero, of course. We're close to it. So let's put this up about halfway, which would be 500 ohms-ish. And then we can turn this up to where we want. Let's say 9K. Um, gets pretty touchy there, but now we can use this to trim it out. And you could take this to a further extreme. You could get uh, double gang pots that are 500 ohms or even 200 ohms. If you had 200 ohms here and a 20K ohm here, that'd be like a, a hundred turn pot. This is fine for my hobby stuff that I do around here. All right, folks. Well, that's all I had for you today. I will get on with the rest of this off camera so that uh, I can use them in any upcoming videos. And uh, like I say, I will leave uh, links to everything I've used down here all the major things anyway. I don't think I'll, I'll bother with the pins here. But, uh, and if you want this board, let me know and I'll put it up on, on PCBWay for you. Thanks a lot for coming out, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.